think it's my my understanding and you can you can tell me because you would know is uh this is different in france for example well that's what i'm thinking this is different in france no this is different in there we go <laughs> this is different in france hello <laughs> hi <laughs> <laughs> um so the uh, can you ask your question so that the oh, you oh, okay so the so so we're, yeah. we're thinking we were talking about before before we jumped on the air about how in in some christian church you know men married men are encouraged to not spend too much time with other women other than their wives because yeah. something might develop because of the danger of something developing that would it's be not even just married men um there is a i think it's in james um uh, that paul the book of james that paul said to flee from temptation yes yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. and uh generally speaking the church and it was also my 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 way of being of acting not spend not spending time alone with a person of the opposite sex whether you're a man or a woman because there could be some things that could de develop yes like yeah right say you have an argument with your wife or your husband and then you go and spend yeah. time with someone so you might be tempted to be comforted by that person and that can lead to you know situations that yeah. you would rather avoid yeah um, maybe but yeah but what i was saying as, as we just got on is is that the same like in your experience in france for example, oh. <laughs> because the cliche that I have in my mind about that is that's not quite the, the same. Okay, so France, first yeah. of all, is not a re religious country. So okay. it's more like a very liberal, very open country. And I guess they would say th they don't, they wouldn't say that it's not possible friendship between a man and a woman. Uh, I think it's frequent um to have friendship between men and women um, now how do they evolve we don't always know mm -hmm. um but because it's not a it's not a religious country so they guess. don't have the same mores that um yeah that I, we the there. question i i remember you know having some discussions about um for amitié am i am it possible you know is a is friendship between men and women is possible i think it's um the, the the kind of question that comes up all the time so it's always <laughs> it's i think it's an interesting question that comes yeah. up every all the time whether it's here or in france so now everyone has a personal interpretation of it i used yeah. to as I, I would say when i was i'm still married um but i would purposely avoid to be alone with a man if maybe just the pastor, I would be alone with the pastor, I didn't mind. It doesn't mean that the pastor is not a man. I think it's equally dangerous. Yeah, but yeah. in my mind, the, the, the pastor he, has, he has certain He has certain expectations, yeah. Yeah, and more self-control and maybe more to lose if he was to indulge in temptation. But we do hear of stories where pastors have oh, to sure. step down yeah. because- Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, I would say it's a human nature. You can't control human nature, right, whether right. whether it's in a church there's, context. There's a biological the... component to it. Yeah, yeah, that's correct. I would say it depends. Um, and we were talking about it because I, I was sharing the, that I don't care if you're a man and we're friends, yeah. but I have to, you remember when we first talk about having this podcast, at first I was like, I'm not sure. And the reason yeah, why right, I'm not sure right. is exactly because of that, because yeah. we, we are, you know, you're a man, I'm a woman, we're not married and I'm married. You're not, you're not married anymore. Although I am separated from my husband. Mm -hmm. um, I still didn't feel that it was all right. It was okay to do that. Yeah, going back to the, going back to that conversation just a little bit because I remember what when we were talking about that and I, I think I said something to the effect that there are like if you look on television for example the example I have there are lots of examples where <clears throat> a man and a woman who are not in a romantic relationship or 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 a committed relationship or whatever are collaborating 
right? Our friends, yeah. yeah. yeah they're, <laughs> they're, they're, they're like, like, police, like police officers yeah. and things like that. Yeah, well, what, no, I, I think about like like Regis and Kathy Lee or something. I don't know if that that I know them, but they, anyway. they, they were they were a big talk show staple in the United States, and and you know Kathy Lee was married to some pro football player in Regis. I don't know what Regis deal was, but they they made good conversational foils for that, and I don't think it. it the the idea of them ever being in a romantic relationship ever came up maybe i mean we don't know what's happening between two person you know in closed doors or that's true but, that's true but yeah. i don't want to speculate on that i do know that um there is an evolution in my mind towards that and mm -hmm. what i see is missed opportunities and what i see is that we can when there is a combination of a man plus a woman, we can create more. For example, I have a, a business partner uh, who is uh, Canadian mm -hmm. and we, we're partnering together in France. Mm -hmm. And I think it's amazing because yeah. he brings his, you know, man in manhood and man, uh, man brain. And I bring my woman right. hood. Yeah and my woman brain. And I yeah. think together we can even be more agile uh -huh. in terms of what we are uh, presenting, right? So I think it's more complete. So I think it's uh, it's good. It's good to do that. Now, yeah, is it dangerous? Would, would you have, would you have uh, collaborated like that before? Say say when, you, when your marriage was, was good and, and strong, would you have considered a, a business collaboration like that? I think business wise, well, uh, I, I think I, it's hard for me to give a definite answer. Uh -huh. I, 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 I've worked with some men during mm -hmm. my 20 years of marriage, of course. Mm -hmm. I've mm -hmm. worked some with some men. Now, have I been alone with those men? Not necessarily. I've tried to always be in an environment where I don't, you know, I, I like to say that I used to, when I was um, working with Western Union, I used to travel a lot and I would find myself in hotels mm -hmm. uh, a lot of days. Yeah. And I remember, you know, I would just do room service. I would stay in my room because I would, I would be scared, afraid to be out and, you know, to be approached by some people because, Right. During the day when we were working, it's true that I was hard, you know, people would really try to, um, me faire des avances, would say in French, you know, they would try to uh, start something with me. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So I was married and it's not even because I was married. It's just that because I was young and I didn't want to be hurt. So I would just stay in my room. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, over the years, I've definitely worked with some people from the opposite sex, but mm. I've made sure that I wouldn't be alone mm. with them mm. to protect me. Yeah. So, so what does that mean, a, a, alone with them? So, you, so you're out, you're you're together, and there's always someone else around, or you're together. Yeah, maybe I would make sure together, that, for example, but you're collaborating on something. Yeah, I would make sure yeah. that uh, when we are collaborating, when we're meeting to work it's in an open space mm. where there are other yeah. people yeah or um you know i wouldn't go and meet someone at his house or right. um you know those logic things not to put myself in danger and and to protect yeah. them as well yeah. or to always yeah. make sure that i'm going with a friend right <laughs> right know, so you have, have a backup like yeah, yeah. So yeah, it's more complicated. You and I, we don't live in the same. Right, state. right. We don't, we're not even on the same time zone. Have yeah, two hours. Yeah, yeah. We have two hour difference. So it's friendship, but at, at the same time, it's a safe friendship because we are, right, you're right. away, you know? If yeah, you were right. here, maybe we wouldn't spend that much time together, right? Yeah, uh, maybe, maybe not. Yeah, that, that's interesting too. Or maybe, it's yes, you know, but I mean, yeah. it's, um, we can understand why because uh, we're humans and the way yeah. our humanness is probably it means that when you spend time with someone close to someone then you can develop some you know right yeah yeah
some well some well i will say anyway. uh, just because we have this is uh ep this is episode 44 right now so we've Indeed? been doing this oh, for, wow. 40, we've for been... 44 days straight and uh you know what whatever our relationship is in the future we i, I feel like we've developed a very deep connection and i'm, I'm really grateful for that i like conversations and yeah. this morning i made a post about actually it's it's hard because I have a lot of friends. I have thousands of friends and mm -hmm. I'm someone mm -hmm. who is known to be uh, very open and to have a lot of friends. Yes. But I was uh, during on this training this weekend, I realized that it was hard for me to reach out to one specific person. I do have my go-tos. I have my friend mm -hmm. uh, Amina. I have uh, um, other friends that I'm very close to here mm -hmm. too in the States that I could have called. Uh, but those are my safe people, my safe friends. So, but, so when, when we say safe, what we mean is you, you feel comfortable just being completely yourself and saying whatever you want. It's not even only that I feel, but it's that my, the real me just comes out naturally. Oh yeah. Okay. I see what you mean. Yeah. You know, there are some yeah, people who sure. just inspire you to just be yourself, not be on your guard or not be, you know, wearing a mask or playing. Right. Or, right. Or, yeah. You know? So there are some people in my life, like uh, my friend Amina in France, mm -hmm. uh, we are just the best friends, you know, we, we, yeah. And again, there I have, I have some friends um, like that here too. Um, and I won't say names because I don't want to, it's safer for me just to say Amina who is in France, because yeah. I do have a lot of friends locally here too. But uh -huh. the, what I realized is that I struggled calling some people to be vulnerable because during the training I was making some deep discovery about myself because the way right the yeah yeah I know done. I know about how that uh, the the idea is like you know you you're you're in there for all day and then your assignment is to call somebody right not only that you know but they want you to reach out to someone to yes. share what you just discovered about yourself. Yeah, so for yeah. me, it was very difficult to do so. And I realized that now all I want to all I want to have is deep connections with people. Yeah, right. But right. It, I know it's hard because it's time consuming. And sometimes the people don't have the emotional bandwidth for that. And yeah. but a, lot of, a lot of those things are my considerations. Yeah. I have to reach out to people. I have to call them. I have to call my friends and say, hey, I want to have this conversation with you. Are you available? But most of the time, I put myself the barriers, the boundaries. I said, oh, there is a time zone or this person will not be available or I don't know. Oh, that's it. That's interesting that the barriers are, well, self-imposed. They're self-imposed yeah. because until you try, you won't know. And what I what I what we learned this weekend is about the our test for reality, what really what reality really is. And I don't I won't go into details because I think it's very profound and I think it's good that everyone comes to his own realization. Mm -hmm. But what I saw is that most of the things are also my way of being, of acting in the world. I realized that most of my life and most of everyone else's life is about acting, about playing a role. Mm -hmm. Whether it's me playing my mom role or me playing my friend role and podcast sure. with you right sure. now, or my, um, you know, when I was in a relationship with my husband, being a wife, etc. Mm -hmm. So what I want is to be genuine and authentic most of so the you, time. you'd want to be <clears throat> excuse me you'd want to be the same person in all of those roles yeah knowing there's that no, you, there's no separation there is no separation knowing that at the same time it's quite an achievable because we all know that the environment the culture in which you are mm -hmm. will modify you know if i sure. have a blue glass and i put something in it you know the the environment in which I am will modify my content, you know, will modify what's inside. So mm -hmm. the, the context yeah. is very important. So, yeah. uh, but I'm to try to be as much as possible authentic, mm -hmm. right? Yep. And um, when I'm noticing that I am not being authentic, come back and be be myself. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's really good. Yeah. It was a long way to just say, I just want authentic and deep and relationships. And that's only, you know, I was, uh, I, I mentioned that once, um, conversation that transformed. It's something that a, a coach, Beth, Beth John Shell, she, she had come up with. And I didn't realize it at that time, but what she's saying is very meaningful. It's only conversations that transform. It's only in conversation. Oh, that's, that's, someone. yeah. That you can know the person. Yeah, I, that I, I hadn't you, thought about that, but yeah, that's, that's, it's only, it's only in conversations that probably any change. Yeah. Happens. Any change or any, any impact you want to have, yeah. like. I, we want to have impact. We're coaches. I would. I love having impact. I yeah. love having people tell me, "Wow, you transform my life," or yeah. "You help me," or "You make a difference in my life." And you know, I do have a lot of that. Not to you know say I'm the best or no. Again, I love to say that I am a work in progress. But I do see the difference I make in people's life, yeah. and that's what I want to do all the time. I don't want to mm -hmm. choose when to do it. I just want that to be my or default setting. Oh, I like that. Yeah, this is my my default setting is that I engage in transformational conversations with yeah, in deep conversation, in real conversations. Deep conversations yes. Yeah. I don't want to talk about the weather. You know, I want okay. you to ask me really what's going on, and I want to be able to tell you exactly what's going on. And when I ask you this question, I expect the same thing. Yeah. But now. Yeah, you know, we're not all on the same page all the time. You know, yeah. it's, it's vulnerable. It takes time. It's emotionally, you have to have the emotional bandwidth too. Yeah. But wouldn't it be amazing if every interaction we had with everyone was from a place of total authenticity, you know, right. total, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, no fear, no yeah. barrier, but yes. just yeah. be who we are, you know, without, yeah. Yeah, that's good right now and i know the 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 time clicked but um it's frustrating for me to be trying to have a relationship with someone and to see that i can't talk and again the limitation yeah. i yeah. place them i place the limitations yeah. because i will make assumptions but and maybe there's that fear that if you do if you do reveal you know what what is really happening in inside your head that that's going to push him away not only that but the person making you understand that actually where you're going is scary i don't want to go there so let's you know don't talk about that oh so, oh, so they they're they're hesitant when when you're when you're saying something to go I, mm, no both we, of it you know some yeah. are like oh that's too deep i don't want to go deep can we just talk yeah. about the weather <laughs> <laughs> you know or yeah yeah that calls for self uh exploration i don't want to do that right now i just yeah, want yeah, yeah. to right. distract yeah. myself i just want to dumb myself dumbing myself down right mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. so it's it's difficult because we're not all on the same page all the time so. yeah that's why, you know, building, building up a relationship to that is great to mm -hmm. be, to come to a place where it's just free share. It's vulnerable. Yep. You know, there is no judgment. It's just, yep. just safe. Yeah. Yeah. And that, well, I, I guess we, we have to cut this, but maybe this is our prompt for uh, tomorrow is that, that may be something that is hard to achieve in a committed relationship because there are so many expectations around that that there does that make sense I'm yeah. not sure if I showed that and that's why that relationships sense. don't work yeah it's it's you know yeah. get rid of the expectations um Shakespeare say that we've said that before that expectations are the root cause of all heartaches yeah yeah you know he says you know make agreements everything is based on agreement just agree on something yeah communicate clearly what your intentions are because there yeah. is what creates upset is that thwarted um expect um thwarted expectations right yeah. it's it's unclear communication yep. you know and, or it's uh, expectations that is not fulfilled yeah so exactly. if you're clear yeah. in your communication you save yourself some heartache so it saves, that's, that's right yeah yeah <laughs> 
Okay. So All right. Well, we will this was this was a good one. So I, I mean, think it's I mean excellent. we have great conversations every all day. All the time. That's yes. I, that's why I love doing this. Um but anyway, thank you all for joining. If you joined us now or if you join us on the replay, thank you. And we'll see you and again. We'll see you tomorrow. Soon.